Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It is 647. Welcome back. Amber's here to tell us about just the next 24 hours and nothing else, yeah. right? Because <laughs> yeah, it's so we nice. We don't want to hear about it, anything else, right? <laughs> we just want to keep the warm temperatures. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, today is going to be incredible out there. We, this is the warmest day that we've had in a while, and it's the warmest day we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a while. Does so that mean you're going to talk about the other days too? I'm going to have to. Okay, That's fine. What they pay me to do. Fine. <laughs> Here's the satellite and radar. We got a few breaks in the clouds off towards the west, but it is going to be a mostly cloudy uh, day today. Better chance at some sun in the southern half of the state this afternoon. Temperatures right now 38 there in Minot, 40 in Bismarck, 43 in Dickinson, and 37 in Williston. Wind speeds have shifted. They're mostly out of the southeast here, if not easterly. They'll stay southerly this afternoon, 5 to 10, up to 15 miles per hour. So that's going to help pull in some warmer air, and you can see what that does. We're back into the 60s this afternoon. It's going to be nice and comfortable, and you know, even some areas in the southwest will be in the 70s. Now I can tell you, you see the color contours up towards the northwest around, uh, say, uh, Divide County, Crosby, you could be in the 50s. I think you're going to be in the 50s today. The rest of us in the 60s and the 70s. That is the culprit of a cold front in the north there. So we've got some isolated rain showers along the north here. Um, again, better shot at some sun in the south. A nice, pleasant day with that light wind speed. Get outside and uh, take the dog for an extra long walk today because things are changing as we head into the rest of the work week. In fact, ramping up the rain chances. Here's 930 this evening, pulling in some scattered rain. This is overnight tonight. You'll wake up tomorrow morning and probably want to take the umbrella to work. Not all of us will see constant rain tomorrow, but folks in the north have a better shot at seeing constant rain throughout the day. Low pressure, the center of this low will move through the southern half of the state. And so typically on the northern part of that, that's where we see most of the moisture and that's going to fall along the north here. Now, as we head into the afternoon, here is 9 a.m. Check out noon tomorrow. We're going to pull in some colder air from the northwest. That's not only going to drop our temperatures, but it's going to change the rain into a rain snow mix and eventually some snow. A light accumulation is possible, but we don't want to forget about the winds. Check out the wind speeds here picking up from the west and northwest. Sustained 20 and 25, gusting to as high as 40. So we could see a wind advisory tomorrow. So that's something we want to keep in, uh, kind of keep a watchful eye on here. In terms of how much rain we could be getting, well, it looks like the higher numbers, of course, will be uh, in the north here. We do have a chance for just a trace there along the south, but uh, it looks like probably over half an inch in some cases along the north. In terms of snow, I think less than an inch right now. Temperatures tomorrow at far cry from today, 40s and 50s, as opposed to those 60s and 70s. And we keep the 40s for the remainder of the forecast. In fact, cooling off a bit towards the end of the forecast. Back to the 30s there for Minot and Williston. Several chances for rain and snow. Here's the Bismarck and Dickinson seven day. Once again, cooling down back to the 40s and staying there. I am watching a system that wants to move through Sunday into Monday that could bring us some measurable snow. Well, if you like the chillier weather, the sweater weather, then uh, this you is know. sweater weather. Sweater weather with jackets, yeah, I think. Yeah, Not so much today, but right. maybe tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Amber. When we come back on Good Day Dakota, we'll have your.